A heel just destroys Julius Long. Now, Julius Long has been on a long losing streak. Um, I'm not quite sure how many he's lost in a row. I want to say it's like four or five in a row. And I know he's had like a, a draw in there. I think he's lost four in a row and had a draw. I know he had a draw before he fought a uh, heel. But anyways, back to this fight. So... <laughs> Don't forget, subscribe, hit the thumbs up, hit the bell. Yeah, 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 I know. A lot of videos saying that. But here we go. So in this fight, Julius Long, this is the thing with, with these big boys like this, okay? When you got a guy who is short, <laughs> like a hell, right? It's very hard for tall guys to be able to get off and really get them, them torquing type blows to them now. Julius Long did knock him down in the fourth round, but that was really the only thing he did through the entire fight. The fight ended in the seventh round, seventh round within the 10 second clock. I want to say probably like four or five seconds left on the clock before the bell would have rang. So it was at the very end of the seventh round that Ahel finally knocked him out, but he was hitting him with hard shot after hard shot after hard shot after hard shot after hard shot. But again, my point was this. When you have these short heavyweights that get underneath these big tall guys, it, this right here is like Mike Tyson isk. When you can do that, tall guys cannot torque their body back to get any type of power off with their shots. So it's very limited. I don't understand why we don't see more short fighters in the heavyweight in boxing. If you're on the shorter side, they want you to cut weight to go to a lower division so you'd be the big man of your division. I think it's stupid. I think there should be more shorter fighters at heavyweight. By short, I mean 5'10 to 6 foot tall. There should be a lot more because you can see the same thing happen. A 5'10 guy would look just like this underneath AJ. It, it gives a different dynamic that the tall guys are used to seeing because there's no short fighters that fight in the heavier divisions like that. So that's what I saw. But overall, good fight. A heel, like I said, he was knocked down in the fourth round, but he got up pretty quickly. It was more like a flash knockdown. Overall, very good boxing. I don't know how good his power is because he hit, he hit Julius with hard shot after 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 hard shot. For seven rounds straight, he just kept hitting him with hard shot after hard shot. And this knockout was more of an accumulation versus a one shot. So like a one hit a quarter type punch. It wasn't that. But anyways, on to the next one.